Hello everybody and welcome to another Pixel for Life video tutorial. My name is Steven and today we are going to be creating another logo in Illustrator. So why am I doing yet another one? Well, I was requested to make one and this one is going to be a little bit more technical than the first. Um, it's still not extremely advanced but it uses a lot of uh, artistic techniques uh, with the pen tool and obviously we are starting with the drawing stage. Uh, I, I had an idea in mind. I did quite a few other sketches before this recording so I knew where I was going with this. So I grabbed my circle stencil and just started drawing. Alright so all I did was uh, import my image into a new web document on an illustrator. It really doesn't matter what size your artboard is because it's all vector based so you can scale it up or down whatever you need so anyhow I have it here and what I'm going to do is lock that layer just so I can't move it around or anything and create a new layer above it now in this layer what I'm going to do is start off with a ellipse tool because this was based around a circle just like how I drew it I started off with a circle so I'm going to do the same thing here so I'm going to hold down shift and drag this out going to try and size it up as neatly as possible and let's remove the foreground color so we can see the background so I'm gonna click on this white square and click on this right here which will make it non-existent alright so let's uh, let's also change the stroke color to something that we can see a red looks nice and let's try and scale this as well as possible something like that and line it up and that looks good Alright, so that's going to be our first basic shape. Now what I want to do is rotate this circle so this anchor point on the right side lines up with the end of this tail. So I'm going to hold down Alt or Option and rotate it. Just going to keep rotating until it lines up pretty much. Something like this, that's fine. That's good. Yeah, come on, a little bit more and I'll be happy. Uh, okay. Perfect. Now, what I want to do is grab this uh, direct select tool, which is the white arrow. Click here and delete that top point by clicking backspace. Perfect. So now that we have that, we have a half a circle starting from here, ending here. And we want to continue along that by going to this water drop shape. So I'm going to grab the pen tool. I'm going to click on this anchor. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see. And then I'm going to click at about right here. Something like this. And then down here. Something like that. Over to here. Um, maybe here. Right here. Ah, right here. And then I'm going to click a little bit before this end. Something like right over here right over here and then click that end just to finish that off okay so now if I hide this background you can see the basic shape that we have kinda looks like a baby whale but we'll go with it um, you can modify this so it's a little bit perfect by clicking on it and grabbing these handles oops I want to grab this handle rather and just mess with it but I don't want to waste your time by my tinkering around so now that we have that Okay, I totally messed it up. It's going to bother me. Sorry, guys. Alright, so now that we have that, I'm going to grab the pen tool again, and I'm going to work on this fire shape. I'm going to start at about right here, and I'm going to click to here, and then here, hold down Alt to remove one anchor point, and then click over to here. And you don't have to line this up perfectly. I'm just going to go, uh, you know, as close as I feel like coming, I guess. So click, and then just keep clicking around the shape. Uh, and if you hold down Alt, you'll see that your cursor turns into a triangle. And I'm going to use that to modify the shapes. So click in here, hold down Alt to make that sharp. Something like that. Click over to here, over to here. And then try and line it up as closely as possible. 
because I drew this in a circle so this point is the end of the circle and I want to make it kind of look like it's a, uh, a circle with water and fire inside of it that's the overall look if you didn't understand it so I'm gonna click there and here and you can kind of see the leftover line here from my circle that I didn't erase too well so that might be a little bit easier to follow along with something like this and for every point I'm holding down alt and clicking just so it's a sharp point and I'm not doing that on these bottom sections because I want those to be swooped swoopy I guess would be the word And then when I get to this end point here, I'm going to click on the actual path just so it lines up perfectly. And do it like that. And then hold on Alt because this doesn't have to be pretty. I can just pretty much round it off as well as I want. All right, that looks good. And if we hide this background layer, you can see what that looks like. All right here is a little bit sharp, so I want to grab that direct selection tool. and. Let's try and round that off slightly. Okay, I won't waste any more of your time. That looks fine. Now it's time to start coloring it. So I'm going to start with this water. I'm going to click here and do what I really hate doing, and that is add a gradient in uh, Illustrator. It's just horrible. I'm used to Photoshop, so um, all you Illustrator masters are probably not even watching this, but uh, laughing at me. So I'm just going to grab a basic blue shape, some, some little bit brighter, I guess, kind of like water. So let's, uh, let's go with something like that. And then for this, I'm going to click on this second square here, which will add a gradient. And let me grab my color palette here. So for this first gradient, I want to click here and go to RGB, so I'm not in grayscale. Let's grab a nice blue color. And then over here, I'm going to grab a, change this to RGB as well, and grab a little bit darker of a blue color, something like that. And I'm going to modify the gradient so the darker is on the bottom. And I'm using this gradient tool that's right here. Just going to click and drag. Uh, okay, that's fine. And now I want to, uh, let's just leave that be. I'm going to work on this fire now because this is the fun part. I'm going to add a gradient to this as well, but not a blue one. This first color here is going to be a darker orange, something like that. And this one is going to be a lighter, more of a tan color. Um, let me modify this one just slightly. Okay, and that's just going to be the background of it. Uh, let's work on this stroke here. Let's change that color. And then I want to fill this in with kind of a dark orange, uh, orange shapes.